Welcome to the first training module in the framework of enhancing health and physical activity rates through pentathlon project. Modern pentathlon is an Olympic sport that comprises five different events. Fencing, one-touch APE, freestyle swimming, 200 meters, equestrian show jumping, 15 jumps, and a final combined event of pistol shooting and cross-country running, 3,200 meters. The competition format of modern pentathlon provides for athletes to gain points for their performance in each event. Scores are then combined to give the overall total. The fencing discipline uses the APE. The competition is a round robin, meaning each competitor will face all the other competitors once. Each match lasts up to one minute. The first fencer to score a hit wins instantly. Double hits are not counted. If neither score within one minute, they both lose the match. There is also a bonus round in the format of a ladder tournament in which the worst ranked athlete faces the next to last. The winner then competes against the third to last athlete and so on. The swimming event is the first event on the second day of competition. Athletes will be seated into heats according to their pentathlon world ranking swimming time. They will be allowed to use any stroke or style to complete the 200 meters freestyle race. A time of 2 minutes, 30 seconds will earn an athlete 250 points. Every one third of a second above or below this time, will sum or minus 1 point. In the equestrian show jumping, athletes will be assigned an unfamiliar horse. They will have 20 minutes and a maximum of 5 practice jumps to warm up. The ranking after the previous events will decide who will start. The course will feature 12 show jumping obstacles, 15 total jumps with one double combination and one triple. These obstacles will be set no more than 1.2 meters, 4 feet, high. Completing the round in the time allowed will earn an athlete 300 points. Penalty points will be deducted. The combined event will begin with a handicap start based on the results after the previous events. The leader will start first, followed by the next placed pentathlete, who will start one second later for every one point trailed. Example, a four-point advantage would allow the leader a head start of four seconds. Athletes will run a total distance of 3,200 meters. There will be four shooting stops where they will aim a laser pistol at five electronic targets. Once they hit the five targets with an unlimited number of shots, or after 50 seconds, they will be allowed to resume running. The first pentathlete to cross the finish line in the combined event will be declared the winner of the competition. An athlete will earn 500 points for a time of 13 minutes, 20 seconds. Every one second above or below, will sum or minus one point. Modern pentathlon was first held at the Stockholm 1912 Games. It wasn't until the year 2000 that the women's competition was introduced in the Olympics that took place in Sydney. Despite many attempts to remove it, modern pentathlon still remains a core sport of the Olympic Games. Originally the disciplines were spread over four or five days, but since Atlanta 1996 all five disciplines have taken place in a single day in an effort to be more audience-friendly. In 1948 the Union International de Pentathlon Moderne, UIPM, was founded. It is now more than 120 member countries, reflecting the steady spread of the sport worldwide. As a matter of fact, the countries of Western and Eastern Europe have dominated Olympic modern pentathlon, with Hungary and Sweden particularly prominent. In recent years medalists have come from a greater range of countries and continents. Indeed, six different teams were represented on the podium in both the men's and women's competitions at London 2012 and Rio 2016, with medals returning to Asia, 
South America and Oceania. The pentathlon was introduced for the first time at the 18th Olympiad in 708 BC. It consisted on running the length of a stadium, jumping, throwing a spear, throwing a discus and wrestling. The pentathlon held a position of unique importance in the games and was considered to be the climax, with the winner ranked as Victor Ludorum. Admiration for the ancient pentathlon was fully shared by the founder of the modern Olympics, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, and from 1909, he tried to have the event reintroduced into the Olympic program. Pentathlon's moment came two years later at the 14th session of the International Olympic Committee in Budapest, HUN, when, as the Baron stated, the Holy Ghost of Sport illuminated my colleagues and they accepted a competition to which I attach great importance. The modern pentathlon, being introduced in 1912 at the 5th Olympiad in Stockholm, SWE, comprised the contemporary sports of pistol shooting, fencing, swimming, horse riding and running and embraced the spirit of its ancient counterpart. It was de Coubertin's belief that it would be this event, above all others, that tested a man's moral qualities as much as his physical resources and skills, producing thereby the ideal, complete athlete. This new sport was enthusiastically adopted with its inherent demands of courage, coordination, physical fitness, self-discipline and flexibility in ever-changing circumstances. A young American lieutenant, later to be the famous Second World War General George S. Patton, was to finish fifth in the first-ever Olympic modern pentathlon competition. The mixture of physical and mental skills demanded in the pentathlon has also meant that athletes have been able to compete in as many as three or four Olympic Games. This is because running and swimming times can be expected to decline with age. Meanwhile, experience and skill will increase for the technical discipline. The oldest Olympic gold medalist in the modern pentathlon to date is Pavel Lednev, former URS, who was 37 years old at the 1980 Games in Moscow. Thanks to a wide range of innovations, modern pentathlon has become a more demanding sport that pushes athletes to their limits. Only those with exceptional physical and mental endurance allied to skill in all five disciplines can take home the gold. Enhancing health and physical activity rates through pentathlon, EPARP, aims at employing pentathlon as a tool for promoting health-enhancing physical activity among the European youth and adult populations. It will also address dual career opportunities for athletes in individual disciplines and empower coaches and trainers to develop comprehensive programs of pentathlon to target an adult and young audience. Modern pentathlon has been chosen for this project because it presents suitable opportunities for expanding young people's participation with the positive health and psychosocial benefits of sport. As a matter of fact, Modern pentathlon provides a multidimensional advantage, as the combination of different sports disciplines fosters the development and enhancement of diverse interrelated skills and abilities in a coordinated and interplaying fashion. Furthermore, modern pentathlon calls for a cooperation between several local institutions, from sport organizations to NGOs, which can complement the dimensions of outreach and educational impact on a wide audience of targets, from youth to adults. At the same time, the empowerment of local institutions in the context of modern pentathlon would greatly benefit from the capitalization of existing resources provided by amateur athletes. This would empower coaches and trainers in a multidisciplinary endeavor, as modern pentathlon programs would contribute to their development as athletes while providing an opportunity in the realm of dual careers. So, what can you expect from this course? It will be an incredible and rewarding journey. You will gain new knowledge and skills related to pentathlon. 
experience in other disciplines included within pentathlon that will allow you to grow as an athlete. Practical experience in conducting training programs for both adults and young people. You will be able to become a pentathlon coach which can be an opportunity for a dual career strategy for your future. Thanks again for your trust, and see you in the next module.